too warm. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today with a new video comparison between the original Adizero SL and the new version, the version 2, which has been released recently from Adidas. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of questions uh, for these models, which is better, uh, what are the improvements, uh, uh, and therefore I decided to have a deep dive in a comparison and uh, try to answer most of your questions. If you are interested in more details, you can find also the video reviews available in the channel for each one of the models. I'll leave you the link up here. So say that, let's get started. Let's kick things off uh, from the specs as always. The Adizero SL and the SL version 2 share some uh, similarities and also have uh, key differences that uh, set them apart. The version 2 um, features more light strike uh, uh, perform, uh, which is the lighter and uh, more comfortable uh, form uh, in the lineup, lighter than the uh, light strike, the standard light strike. Additionally, it includes also the light strike 2.0. Uh, which is softer and uh, more premium uh, feel and despite these upgrades the price of the two models uh, are the same and 30 euro in, in Europe uh, even though I believe uh, the SL uh, the original SL uh, is uh, available uh, under this car. Outsole now now let's move on to the household. Most shoes use the same rubber uh, material, uh, I believe it's Adiwear, but um, their design patterns are uh, quite different. The SL version 2 has uh, more cutouts along the, the length of the, the shoe, which uh, enhances flexibility and grip. These cutouts uh, make a noticeable difference uh, in performance, allowing the SL version 2 to adapt better to, to various terrains. The additional exposed form uh, also contributes to uh, increased flexibility and uh, comfort. Both shoes offer uh, a good grip uh, in wet and dry conditions uh, thanks to their lug design and thickness. However, the SL version 2 uh, feels more adaptable to the ground, providing uh, a better uh, grip. One minor drawback for the SL version 2 uh, is uh, related to the holes we have. Uh, which can collect uh, uh, small stones, even though it didn't happen so far after 100 kilometers. In terms of durability, potentially they can offer more than 300 miles of wear. As you can see from the current state of uh, my pairs, there are no major signs of wear, which is promising a long-term use. Midsole now. The midsole is where we see the most significant change. The SL version 2 features a more Light Strike Pro and Light Strike 2.0 form uh, throughout the, the shoe, making it uh, uh, much more comfortable and uh, responsive. In contrast, the original SL has uh, a stiffer forefoot, which caused me also an injury in the right forefoot. Therefore, I had to retire the shoe even before 100 miles. If you want to know more details about that, there is a dedicated video in the channel. I'll leave you the link up here. The SL version 2, on the other hand, uh, uh, support a better rolling motion and uh, heel to toe transition, making it a superior choice in terms of uh, response and uh, comfort. Both shoes lack um, uh, energy roads or uh, torsion system, but the SL version 2 meets the design compromised by offering uh, a more uh, supportive and um, cushioned uh, right. The dimensions are similar. The SL version 2 uh, uh, feels uh, slightly higher in the heel and fits better when uh, sized up uh, by half. Upper now. When it comes to the upper, uh, the differences uh, are quite uh, uh, pronounced. The original SL is true to size, uh, but feels too tight in the forefoot. Uh, there is not that much room in the forefoot. Uh, mesh is very rigid and uh, stiff. This can be uncomfortable, uh, especially uh, for those of you who prefer to have a little bit of room in the forefoot. Uh, and just to give you an idea, it was uncomfortable for me. And I like shoes with uh, 
very tight uh, upper. Version 2, however, offer uh, a better fit uh, with uh, more room uh, in comparison to the uh, standard uh, SL, uh, but still keeping the uh, forefoot locked uh, as I like. Enhanced fit makes the SL version 2 much more comfortable overall. Both uppers are quite warm, making them better suited for winter or colder climates. As I said before, while they look uh, strong and uh, uh, durable, the original and the standard SL upper is uh, more uh, tight and contribute potentially to a longer lifespan. The dunks are similar and, uh, in my opinion, very wide, and the laces are the thinner one, not my favorite. And in conclusion, in conclusion, the Adi Zero SL version 2 uh, outperformed the original uh, S. In all the scores, as you can see here, it is more comfortable, it is more responsive, uh, versatile, making it a better value for money. For training, I definitely prefer the version 2. Its improved midsole, flexible outsole, and uh, better fitting upper make it a great choice for a variety of brands. Uh, from easy days to tempo sessions. However, I wouldn't recommend either uh, shoes uh, for race day. Uh, I believe there are uh, better choices out there in the market and shoes specifically designed for racing that would provide a better performance. But for training though, the SL version 2 is the uh, clear winner in the comparison today. I hope you find this review useful. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe if you haven't yet. Your support means a lot for me and uh, for my work. As always, as always, thanks for watching. Until the next time, keep running. Ciao. Veins. I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say oh.